This week's list covers prehistory. What is the first evidence of human activity? What does it mean to be human? These are some of the questions we will be answering in investigating the past. One clue about human activity was found in a cave in France in the 1940s. In this cave, prehistoric paintings were found on the walls. This key discovery gave us a window into our past. How many undiscovered artifacts, ruins, and clues are still out there? Other topics that will be discussed in this list are social scientists, the Lusso Caves, cave art, spear throwers, and prehistoric tools. Topic number one, social scientists. There are three types of social scientists, geographers, archaeologists, and historians. Geographers are people who study and make maps of human and natural features. Historians are people who study and record the past. Archaeologists are people who study objects left behind. These three types of people come up with theories based on the evidence we find. The picture becomes clearer with the more proof we discover. Topic number two, the Lusso Caves. The Lusso Caves are found in the Dordogne province of France. They're a fascinating glimpse into our past. Four teenagers discovered this cave in the 1940s. The cave shows us some, some of the animals that were important to humans in the past. These were probably animals that humans hunted. In it, we see horses and bulls. Lamps for lighting using animal fat are some of the artifacts that have been found in this cave. Similar caves have been found in India and Argentina, and this helps us understand our prehistory and unlock more clues. Topic three, cave art. What other types of art exists in caves? Handprints have been found in some caves. This shows that humans were probably smaller than they are today, or that children painted them. Hunting scenes are also a popular theme, as well as shapes and patterns. This also proves what type of weapons were used by early hunters. Were these early paintings trying to capture the magical powers of the animals? Or was it just for decoration or maybe even boredom? Is art and creativity what makes us human? Topic four, the spear thrower. A spear thrower is a person, but it's also a weapon in this case. A spear thrower is a device that one holds to be able to throw a spear a lot further. This was an innovation made by early man that made him a formidable hunter. Today we use powerful weapons for hunting. Imagine trying to take down a bear, a bison, or a moose with a simple spear. If you YouTube some of these animal attacks, you will know that the prehistoric world was a very dangerous place for humans. These are not cuddly creatures that want to be your friends. Many spear throwers were carved with animal designs like a mammoth or reindeer. This may have served as good luck charm or simply as a decoration. The last topic on the list is prehistoric tools. Prehistoric tools include grinding stones, scrapers, axes, and minerals for painting. Paint was made by mixing minerals with animal fat or vegetable oil. There is evidence that early man blew paint through hollow bones to decorate the walls. Early man might have also used moss, fur, and reeds to make paintbrushes. We have come a long way since its prehistoric tools and weapons. To review this peppy list, we covered social scientists, the Lusso Caves, cave art, the spear thrower, and prehistoric tools. What else would have you included on this list?